guys, it's Dina with VR Focus, and today we're going to be talking about the Display Link. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure, the Display Link is a technology for a really low latency, very high quality video transmission. It works particularly well over wireless networks. Uh, so we're here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, and we've applied it to a virtual reality application, which we have in the booth behind me here. Uh, so we have our technology integrated into this, um, this product here. It's battery powered, uh, so there's a small battery which uh, can be changed. So one battery will last for about three hours. And we do have a belt mounted option as well, which allows you to have extended gameplay up to, to eight hours. Uh, this works with a standard HTC Vive headset, uh, it provides the HDMI, USB uh, and power to the HTC. It also works with over-the-head headphones, so there's nothing to uh, obstruct the headphones. Um, and uh, provides a very reliable, latency-free link. Uh, you really wouldn't notice the difference between uh, one of these devices and, and the tethered wire. Apart from that, there's no wire. That's, I mean, I just tried it out. I thought it was really great. Right. Yeah, um, for lots of gaming and moving yeah. around and stuff like that. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit more about sales and about... Yeah, so this is the very first time we've shown this. We've had the product out uh, publicly for about two months now. Uh, we've had great reaction at, at trade shows like this, uh, also to the customers. Um, so this is a reference design, um, so any manufacturer can, can take this design. Uh, we supply the chips that, 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 that power it. Uh, we expect uh, a commercial product to be available in the second half of this year. Um, so in terms of the specifications, it uses a 60 gigahertz uh, wireless link, which is very reliable within a room. Uh, it's interference free, so even at Mobile World Congress, where there's probably 50 Wi-Fi access points around us, it works in a different frequency band from that, so we're not affected by other wireless traffic. Um, it adds about uh, maybe two to three milliseconds of latency to the, to the whole system, which actually is fine because as long as you're not more than 20, uh, you're doing very well. Um, as I said, the battery lasts for about, about three hours. Um, in terms of, uh, I mean, com comparable to what you have to do with the TV, a typical VR headset, about 50% more pixels to drive, uh, and you have to drive them at three times the rate. So it's about, it's about four times as many uh, pixels per second. So the, the video data link is actually six gigabits per second, which is, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, although the chip that's designed into this will run at uh, 24 gigabits per second. Uh, so it's more than capable of this generation and the next generation of headsets. So it's, kind of, it's a very future proof investment when you buy one of these. Thank you so much for showing me this. I really loved it. Um, <laughs> and looking forward to hearing more. About come back, come back next year, it'll be even better. I will. Thank you very <laughs> much. Uh, look at VR Focus for more information about VR.